Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a kangaroo. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a bowl, or anything else with a circular edge. Draw a curved horizontal line across the circle. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the top right side, draw a curved vertical line for another construction guide. On the bottom right side, make a small mark for the first part of the muzzle. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the muzzle. This guide should be similar to an upside down arc. The muzzle should be wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. Inside the head, on top of the horizontal construction guide, draw two small circles as guides for the eyes. Use the construction lines as guides to help you position the eyes. The eye on the right should be smaller and thinner because the head is slightly turned. Inside the muzzle, draw a small curved shape as a guide for the nose. This shape should be similar to the letter D on its side. Pay attention to the placement of the nose inside the muzzle. On the top left side of the head, make a small mark for the first part of the ear. Connect the small mark to the head using curved lines to finish the guide for the first ear. This guide should be similar to a tall arc. Curve the sides of the arc so that the shape is wider in the middle. To the right, draw another tall arc as a guide for the other ear. Make this arc slightly thinner than the arc for the first ear. Pay attention to the size and position of the ears in relation to the head. Under the head, draw a couple of short lines as guides for the neck. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, darken the small circle on the left to create the first eye. At the top, draw a small thin shape for the eyelashes. Don't draw every individual eyelash. Just draw a small thin shape to represent them as a whole. Darken the eye on the right but make it smaller. Draw a thin shape at the top for the eyelashes. Inside each eye, lightly sketch a small circle for the pupils. Make the pupil on the right thin. Now draw small circles inside each eye for highlights. It's okay if you overlap the pupils when you draw the highlights. Darken the pupils, but don't overlap the tiny highlight circles. Draw a few curved lines around the eyes for the eyelids and wrinkles. Keep these lines close to the shapes of the eyes. Higher above each eye, draw a series of short strokes for fur. Shade in the pupils, but don't overlap the tiny highlight circles. Now use the curved shape inside the muzzle as a guide to draw the nose. Darken the shape, but make it wavier at the bottom to create the nostrils. Draw a few short strokes along the bottom of the shape for fur. Darken the top edge, but make it pointier near the middle. 
Draw a short curved line across the middle of the shape. Under the nose, lightly sketch a line that curves to the left for the first part of the mouth. Extend the line to the left so that it touches the side of the initial arc. On the right side, draw a short curved line for the other side of the mouth. When you get the shape of the mouth right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes on the left side for fur. On the right side, darken the path of the initial arc for the side of the mouth. Draw a series of short strokes under the mouth for the furry chin. Draw the chin along the path of the initial arc. Use the arc on the top left side of the head as a guide to draw the first ear. Darken the arc to create the shape of the ear. Add a few short strokes at the top for fur. Make the ear thinner at the bottom than the initial arc. Inside the shape, draw a long curved line that's made up of short strokes for the ear's furry opening. Extend the shape of the ear so that it's inside the head. Draw a couple more lines at the bottom for the base of the ear. Add a few short strokes on the left side for more fur. Draw a couple of short curved lines inside the ear to give the shape more structure. Draw a couple of curved lines along the bottom of the shape to make the base of the ear longer. Now use the arc on the right as a guide to draw the other ear. Darken the arc but make the left edge more curved. Draw a long curved line across the shape for the ear's opening. On the right side, draw a series of short strokes for the fur that's inside the ear. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Make the top right side of the head thinner than the initial circle. The top of the head should be made up of a sloping line above the eye on the right. Draw a line from the eye on the right to the nose for the top part of the muzzle. Follow the basic path of the arc as you draw this line. Darken the bottom part of the initial circle and arc to create the lower jaw. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Use a series of short strokes for a furry texture. Add a few short strokes inside the neck for the fur on the throat. Draw a few short strokes on top of the head for fur. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value to shade your drawing. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Use a darker value for the nose, the sides of the muzzle, and inside the ears. Leave a few sections on the muzzle blank for the white fur. Shade the eyes using a value that's lighter than the pupils. 
Shade the eyes but don't overlap the tiny highlight circles. As you shade the eyes, use a lighter value at the bottom to create a rounder shape. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. The fur mainly radiates outward from the nose. Separate each stroke as you shade so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Use a lighter value for the sections above the eyes. Use darker values to create shadows. Shadows will give the drawing more dimension and volume. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a kangaroo. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the kangaroo. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.